So this is a quick review of the new 2021 Toyota Venza. As an automotive engineer, I will have different comments and viewpoint than other reviewers. So let's start with my uh, usual uh, quality check, which is to look at the body finish and the fit and finish and to see how well this car is built. So the first thing I always do is to look at the gap between the hood and the first uh, front quarter panel and look for the uh, consistency of the gap here and also to make sure that uh, this side and this side is level that's how you can tell a really well built body and of course this being a Toyota you expect nothing less than perfection so I can tell all the way from this edge all the way to the back extremely consistent um, actually better than some car that cost a couple hundred thousand dollars same thing here as well between the front quarter panel and the uh, front door you can also check the seam and the gap also perfect now look at this one this one is always the, a good measure because this gap is so tight very few car company can make it that tight and still be level between here and this side is almost it's perfect perfect fit, fit and same thing here well built over to the trunk a little bit more gap here but this is more to do with the design of because of this uh, kind of wedge design it automatically give you a little bit more um, space in the back same thing here too this is a little bit, bit of a, a des by design so uh, the overall fit and finish of the car excellent um, it, the car is a little bit dirty but if you kneel like this and look at the color and the paint job all the way through you can tell whether or not the body panels were manufactured assembled and put together in high quality fashion and uh, no doubt this is a lexus level in fact this car is is basically like a lexus uh, more than a toyota and it is based on the rav4 um, but it does uh, it drives feels rise uh like lexus at a at a much lower price point so in terms of overall quality and design uh, great this fit and finish manufacturing um, body panels and paint job first class some of the best in the world really and um and design wise i much prefer this design over the rav4 on which it's based of course this is car is Designed to be a uh, position between the RAV4 and the Highlander uh, and I think they hit the sweet spot. It looks better than RAV4, obviously it's more expensive than RAV4 but it's, it's smooth, refined and drives like, like Lexus and in some way it has a sportier look than the Highlander um, which is also actually a really nice three row SUV but most of us don't need such a big SUV these days. Uh, the Venza only comes in hybrid format, which is totally fine because it works extraordinarily well. And so again, design-wise, it's futuristic looking without looking too uh, much like a RAV4 or Highlander for that matter. Great design. Let's take a quick look inside as well. Um, this is an entry-level Venza, by the way. Uh, it's a base model and yet it still has a really great features and design uh, again key difference between this and something like a RAV4 um, is is some of these design features so nice uh, kind of contrast stitching here um, this contrast design here and then that same design carries inside again as an automotive engineer I can tell you the fit and finish of this car inside exceptional in terms of the way the body panels fit uh, how all the trims are designed and built into the integrated into the dash um, great 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 really well built design again contrast stitching here uh, very different um, feel from a uh, RAV4 here even different from Highlander even though it has the familiar Toyota design. It's just a really well all around, beautifully designed car. And um, you still get the big buttons here, all the buttons here, you still get the buttons, unlike some car companies that have removed all buttons, which is absolutely ridiculous as a user's perspective. This way you get a combination of both. 
So let's fire up the car here. So it's a hybrid. Oh, it starts off in the electric uh, mode. Um, and so it's very quiet. So let me put the seatbelt on so it doesn't chime. And uh, so you got a bright, bright instrument and very easy to use. This is kind of a standard um, interface now for Toyota and they keep improving it. Now this being a hybrid, you get the hybrid uh, uh, sort of a status uh, view here, uh, but all the other stuff here is pretty much standard Toyota app. And they're trying to, of course, make it look as much like an iP iPad interface. It's very easy to move through all this and to navigate through. Um, there's a phone and so all the usual features are there so absolutely no uh, no complaints about this they've improved over time um, you know it's still not quite as intuitive as using an iPad perhaps but uh, it's very easy to use and of course it has standard Apple CarPlay Android as well if you when you plug it in that will all come up as well so again I mentioned all the buttons are here very easy to uh, use because the buttons are here easy to control um, big cup holder here seat heater here and also um, big center console with removable tray let's put that in there for now seats are comfortable and um, all, all designed well so let's just go for a very short drive because it starts off in electric mode it is absolutely quiet basically it's just like an EV when it first starts up and at some point when you step on the gas or when you go higher speed the engine will kick in because of the hybrid technology um, but they've really improved this technology over the years of course Toyota is the king of the hybrid technology having because they've had so many years of designing this since the previous days and uh, they keep refining. I've noticed I've driven every hybrid uh, from Toyota every single year and I notice consistently the newer hybrids are quieter, uh, it's very consistent. You can't sometimes even tell when the engine kicks in and when it stops uh, because um, integration is seamless and it is, um, it is just very quiet. So the main difference here is I just noticed the engine kicked in now because I'm going up here, here. Um, but the biggest difference between this and the, let's say compared to um, a RAV4 on which it is based, is that this is just a higher refinement. I noticed that um, the engine uh, and the overall feel is quieter. Uh, there's less wind noise, less road noise. Uh, also, the um, this may not be a critical point for some people, but the, um, the steering eff effort, the steering feel is also improved. Uh, one one challenge with the RAV4, which which we actually own the RAV4 hybrid, is that um, the steering feel is non-existent. <laughs> it's very light. It's very very um, numb in some way nothing wrong with the steering of the RAV4 but it's just uh it doesn't have a lot of feel versus on the on this car you get a little bit more road feel a little bit more resistant when you turn so it's a little heavier steering not a not a whole lot uh, but overall I would say that it is just a little bit more pleasant to drive it's uh, I wouldn't necessarily say it's more it's sportier but it has better road feel um, surprisingly the Highlander which is a larger model from Toyota actually has a really good steering feel they've refined and calibrated that steering uh, to perfection even though that car also has a light steering it has a really good road feel so on this one I say that it's uh, better than RAV4 and um, uh, slightly lighter slightly like 10% lighter steering feel than the Highlander so they positioned this really car really well and so for those people who are considering buying a RAV4 or um, Venza, I would say for just a little bit more, the Venza offers more refinement, some interesting features, uh, some really interesting features, and um, a slightly better steering feel, a slightly better ride. So overall, I think it's really worth upgrading to this car. 
Um, so I give it at I give it an A. I give a solid A because of the value, the pricing is good, uh, the ride and the handling is very comfortable, very refined. Once again, basically you're buying a Lexus midside SUV uh, for a price of a Toyota RAV4 with a slight, slight premium on top. And you get phenomenal fuel economy. And there's some other really interesting features which I won't go into at this point. As you know, my review is a little bit different from other car reviewers. I'm going to tell you about things that maybe you cannot tell unless you drive the car. Uh, and uh, other stuff like a fuel economy, the horsepower rating, you can look all that up on the internet, on the website. So I'm not going to waste your time telling you a whole bunch of numbers. What you want to know is would I be happy driving this car? So my, my standard question is if I were to buy this car and keep it for three years, in three, year, three years time, would I be happy with it still? Would I get tired of it? Would I get frustrated with it? And and my answer is I will be absolutely happy with this car because of the comfort level, the refinement, the amazing technology behind hybrid. It even drives and rides a little bit better than the RAV4. And you know what? It looks great from outside. It looks very modern, um, but yet subtle in the Toyota fashion. And uh, I, I would say in three years, I would probably very happily continue to drive this car so that's my review of the 2021 toyota venza it comes in a few different trim levels um, but uh, even the base model here is fantastic fantastic car to drive